Hey there, fellow Kajabians. My name is John, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically create these certificates of completion when a student completes one of your courses. So, and this is done through Zapier, uh, we can basically do this integration between Kajabi and this service I'm using called Accredible uh, to make this all automated and very fluid, and it's just awesome. So I want to explain exactly how uh, this process works so you can set it up for yourself as well. So I'm using this service called Accredible here. And they allow you to create these certificates of completion. They look great. Uh, there's a bunch of different designs to choose from. You can totally customize these and add your company logo and all that kind of stuff. So here is one that I've complete or I've created for my course for one of my courses. And when the student completes the course, they will automatically receive this certificate. And the certificate uh, will have their name on it right here. They can download a PDF version of it and print it out and frame it or they can also add it to their LinkedIn profile. And I love this feature of Accredible is that they can just add a link to this, to their LinkedIn profile, and it has your company logo on it and has a little description of the course. It looks great. They can also share it on social media. They can post it on social media as well. So this is great because they can market their new skills and share that their new skills. And they can also market you and your company and your product at the same time. So everybody wins. And uh, that's what I really like about this accredible service. So to integrate it with Kajabi, it's actually not that difficult to do. We first need to create an opt-in form. So here I've created an opt-in form and just customize it. And the fact that we can now embed these forms right here makes this even easier. And I'll show you how uh, I did that in my course when the student completes the course. I'll show that how that all works as well. But basically the first step is to create this opt-in form. And you can see I've customized it right here to say claim your certificate. And we're just gonna have the student fill out this form with their first and last name and their email address. And then they'll hit the send my certificate button and that will trigger the Zapier Zap to create the uh, certificate through Accredible. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So, and then I also created a thank you page. So once they uh, complete the form, once they fill out the form, that will just send them through to this thank you page. And it just has a video of here of me just saying thank you and letting them know their certificates on the way and all that stuff. So in the background, what happens after they complete that form is this zap in Zapier here. And it's just the trigger is going to be a new form submission. So this would be the form that's submitted is that form I just created that opt in form there. And then the action that's taken is that uh, the certificate will be created in a credible right here. So that's automatically all going to happen. Zapier is going to pass that information through to a credible and a credible is going to create the certificate and email it to the student automatically. And if you, and you can also add an extra step there in a credible if you don't want to automatically email the the form or the certificate right away you can turn a setting off and then you can have zapier email you to let you know that you need to go in and approve the certificate in a credible so that's an extra step there it's not totally necessary if you're worried that people are just going to fill out that form and get certificates that they didn't earn or something like that then you can take this step but it's not necessary so basically all you need is an opt-in form and then that will allow you to this zap will allow you to create the certificate so now you're probably wondering how to actually trigger that once the student completes the course in kajabi and so i've I've figured out a few ways to do it, and I'll share the one that I'm using right now. Uh, this is just an example test course that I set up using the Derby theme. And what I've done is added this section here, this, this panel I called a dashboard, uh, which is in between this and the syllabus. So this is typically what you see in the Derby theme is the syllabus down here. And I've added this, this little nice dashboard uh, right here. It uh, allows the student to go to the next lesson. So it determines what the next lesson is that they need to complete and automatically jump to it. My courses have a lot of videos, so this makes it navigation a lot easier if you come back next week or next month. And then over here, there's a course progress bar, uh, which is already built into Kajabi. And I've just modified the liquid template here to put it in this little section. 
and there's some text here that appears uh, based on a conditional if statement. So if the student has not completed the entire course, it looks like this and shows a little picture of the certificate of achievement, kind of their goal that they need to complete. And then when the student completes the course, so let's mark all these lessons complete here. And then I'm just gonna refresh this page and we'll see the opt-in form will appear right here. So here's our opt-in form, and this is how they can claim their certificate now that they've completed the entire course. They get the opt-in form right here, and that's because this form is now embeddable. If we go back to the form here, you can see there's this embed code. You just copy it right here and uh, paste it into the liquid template, and then it'll just pop up right there. It looks great. And all they have to do is fill that out, their name and email, hit this button, and that'll trigger that zap that will create the certificate in a credible. So that's how that all works. If you didn't wanna get all fancy with all this uh, conditional logic here and editing the code, you could also just embed this form on the last post in your course. You could just create another post in the course and put this at the very last post, uh, do something like that. You might be able to do something with dripping content and then having this appear at a certain time or something like that. Uh, there's a few different ways to do it, but once all you really need is an opt-in form, you could also put it on a landing page that they maybe click a link to go to or something like that. But all you really need is that opt-in form and Zapier to integrate with the credible and get your students these nice looking certificates of achievement. So I hope that helps. Leave a comment below with any questions and I'll be happy to help answer them. Thanks again and have a great weekend. Bye.